Hello everybody, how are you today? Today, uh, our theme of the lesson is Threadlet Connections. The grammar theme is the future indefinite tense. Aims of the lesson to introduce and navigate students to speak on theme threadless connections and to repeat the rule of future indefinite tense. To teach students to write with grammar structure affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences. Expected results. To know general information about threadless connections. To understand grammar structure affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences. To use taken knowledge during in professional practice or at home. When a doctor doctors a doctor, does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as the doctor being doctored wants to be doctored? Or does the doctor doing the doctoring doctor as he wants to doctor? It's an tongue to twist of our lesson today. Okay, now I want to give you some information about our today's theme. Push lock hose fittings. Let's technicians attack connectors and the fittings to hoses in the field for low pressure hydraulic and pneumatic systems such as shop area, general industrial maintenance and automotive assembly to name a few. The assemblies handle pressure up to 350 psi, a limit set by the hoses capabilities. This limitation also means most hydraulic systems cannot use them. One of its major advantages is that it uses no clamps or cream sleeves to secure the fitting into the hose, which saves assembly time. The lack of clamps and the cream barrels also eliminates their sharp edges, a potential injury hazard during assembly. The push lock system is not perfect, however, installation can be physically challenging and must be done correctly, or else you risk a potentially dangerous blow off. Often modifications are made to the hose by hitting the end with a heat gun and using grease on the fitting barbs. So this does simplify assembly, the resulting connections are most likely compromised and should not be used. Understanding the design of the hose and fittings is the best way to ensure hose connections are leak-free and meet design pressures. Push lock fittings are designed and manufactured with a specialized set of barbs that connect the hose to a vast number of different connections made of different metals compatible with the fluids they will carry. They include brass steel and stainless steel. The barrel has three annular barbs and a telltale yellow cap covers the end of the hose and install it. The hose also comes in a variety of types. The hoses part numbers indicate the temperatures, pressures, and the chemical it will withstand. But all hoses have an internal braid or mesh to give it strength. When pressing a fitting into the hose, the hose expands slightly to accommodate the larger diameter of the fitting's barbs. Once the hose is a completely pushed onto the fitting and into the yellow cap, the internal liner material confirms to the barbs and the pressure of the braid and the outer skin of the hose. The hose then acts like a Chinese finger trap, trying to pull the fitting off makes the braid shrink around the liner and uh, tighten its grip on the barbs, making non-destructive removal nearly Impossible. Assembly. Publishing the hose onto the barbed fitting may seem simple, 
but it is like trying to push a rope up a hill. Keeping the hose aligned with the barbs on the fitting is key, so stabilizing the fitting is a must. Cutting enough force on the hose without it buckling can be challenging, especially when not using a tool to assemble it. Several other factors further complicate the process. Hose temperature. The colder the hose, the less it will want to expand to get over the barbs on the fitting. Hose diameter. Larger diameters are easy easier to assemble while number four hose the smallest is typically the tallest to install because it doesn't have as much material to expand to get over the barbs on the fitting additionally small diameter hoses are harder to hold onto with your hands maintaining a constant pressure and the fit rate once the fitting is Partly in the hose is important to successfully complete installation. Often, getting the hose over the first two barbs goes well, but in the time it takes to stop and reposition your hands for the last push, the hose liner gets a grip on the first two barbs and it is difficult to impossible to get it moving again. In such cases, there is little choice other than to cut the hose off and start over 90 degrees, 25 degrees and banjo fittings, which lack a surface to push against, can be challenged. Putting them in a vise can mar the finish and may not work at all when in the field. Tube stop fittings shouldn't be put in a vise because it damages the ferrule's sealing surface and pushing against the flat surface typically just causes a slide out with hand injury. Assembly tools can simplify the hose fitting assembly process and there are several options to choose from through we are not aware of any that are truly automated. Most of the tools available are hand operated and leverage hand or arm force to press to the fitting into the hose but the process is not fast and requires some acquired techniques. Portability is another consideration. Most assembly tools are designed to be mounted on a bench, so the assembler must take the hose to the tool. When making or repairing hoses for any purpose, don't mix fitting and hose styles. Is, um, if unsure of the fitting or hose, replace both with known components. Push lock hoses and fittings can save time and money when Cut to length is important. Easing installation with a point of use to ensure that barb hose connections are fully and safely installed. Okay, today's our grammar theme is future indefinite tense. Now I will give you uh, some information about future indefinite tense. Future indefinite tense is formed by means of the auxiliary verb shall. For the first person and the will for the second and third persons plus the first form of the national, notional verb. The contracted negative form are shan't and won't. In American English, the future indefinite and all other future tenses are formed by means of the auxiliary verb will for all persons. Uh, the future indefinite is used to denote a customer repeated action in the future. For example, I will call you every day. Translation in Russian Я буду звонить тебе каждый день. The future indefinite can be also used to denote a simple action in the future. Uh, for example, I will help you to do this translation. Я помогу тебе сделать этот перевод. In the modern colloquial English, in future indefinite competes with the expression to be going plus to infinitive. To distinguish between them, the following rules can be used. 
To speak about somebody's plans to be going is used. For example, we are going to discuss this question on Monday. Мы собираемся обсудить этот вопрос в понедельник. If an action is previously arranged, it is expressed by to be going. For example, you are going to have your exam on Friday. У нас будет экзамен в пятницу. To express promise the future indefinite is used. I will give you this money. Я дам тебе эти деньги. If the decision to perform an action is taken during the talk, the future indefinite is used. Are you cold? I will switch on the heater. Ты замерз? Я включу обогреватель. To express somebody's supposition, uh, the future indefinite is used. If the speaker doesn't give any grounds for it and to be going if he gives them. For example, take your umbrella. I think it will rain. Возьми зонтик. Я думаю, пойдет дождь. It is very cold today. You are going to get cold in this thin coat. Сегодня холодно. Ты замерзнешь в этом тонком пальто. The, I think that uh, everything is understandable for you, students. Okay, here you can see your first task. It's in translation. Translate this text. Descriptors of this task. Uh, students can translate the text. And second is they understand the meaning of the text. Next task is uh, grammar task. Put the verbs into the correct form. Future simple. You can use only will. The descriptor is students should the verbs into put the verbs into correct form. Okay, it's time to reflection. Uh, you can see, you can say, you can say, uh, how did you like the lesson? You can choose one of these smiles. Your home task is find extra information about today's theme and make up 10 sentences. You may send your answers on Platonus or on WhatsApp. Our lesson today is over. Goodbye students. Thank you for your attention.